At the beginning of mitosis, the cell has gone through interphase. The contents of the cell has doubled. In the cytoplasm, there are now two centrosomes. Inside the nucleus, the chromosomes have duplicated and are packed together loosely as chromatin. Entering prophase, the chromatin inside the nucleus coil together forming chromosomes that are each made of two sister chromatins which are connected as centromere. Also, the nucleoli disappear. In the cytoplasm, the early mitotic spindle begins to form as microtubules grow from the centrosomes. In the prometaphase, the nuclear envelope breaks down and eventually disappears. Microtubules from the centrosomes at each pole reach out to the chromosomes, which at this point have become extremely compact. When the microtubules reach them, they connect to the kinetic core and they begin to moving to the center of the cell. In metaphase, the mitotic spindle has formed completely and each of the chromosomes have lined up between the centrosomes of the metaphase plate. The kinetic cores of each chromatid face opposite poles and are connected by microtubules. During anaphase, the centromeres move apart, separating the sister chromatids into daughter chromosomes. Proteins in the kinetic cores, which are powered by ATP, move the chromosome centromere first towards opposite poles of the cell. The poles move farther apart, thus elongating the cell. In telophase, the elongation of the cell continues. Daughter nuclei begin to appear as the nuclear envelopes form, the chromosomes uncoiled because the mitotic spindle has disappeared. During cytokinesis, the cleavage furrow forms and the cell is pinched into, creating two separate identical cells.